Hello, welcome, guten tag. Uh, back here at it again tonight. Um, wanted to shoot a, a wood wood quickie here. Um, I see a lot of a lot of debate out there, a lot of discussion on what the old Stanley number ones, what they were used for. Uh, a lot of people don't seem to, uh, I think, fully grasp hand tools, and especially uh, hand tool woodworking 150 years ago when that was the only way you could do it and you had to make a living doing it. So I have here, uh, this is just a rail for, for one of my projects right now. And I've played it down a little bit. As you can see, there's still some marks here from the uh, bandsaw when it was when it was ripped down. Now, if you can imagine uh, a much larger version of this board to where you have these little undulations in there, you know, something like the size of my bench here, um, you could either take the time to get these spots down to these spots here so that way it was all perfectly flat or and especially back 150 years ago where 99% of the population had never experienced something that flat and true before um, you could just worry about removing these marks here uh, and live with the undulations within the wood so uh, obviously I've played this with my number four just kind of going along the high spots here, uh, still not touching those. So you just progressively go down. This is a number three, All right? I can get, I can get into some more of those spots. All right, and I've removed a few more of them. You keep working your way down to where you get in there, and this is uh, this is a black plane. This isn't a number one. I'm not um, not Warren Buffett here, people. Uh, this is a black plane. It's not even sharp. Uh, this is actually probably the first time I've used it in two or three years. Uh, so you can actually kind of get down right into these spots. Get in a little bit, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. So that way, again, you're not taking all of these spots down to this depth. You're just getting rid of the saw marks. So that is, that is my explanation as to what number ones were used for. Um, working your way down the plane sizes. Because, I mean, if we go by today's standards, uh, a number four is even too small to where people want, you know, we're shooting for board, you know, tabletops that are three feet wide by eight feet long, and they all have to be smooth and flat within millimeters. Um, there, you need to be smoothing with a number eight if you're going to use hand tools. Um, but back in the day, they weren't... They weren't anywhere near concerned with, with those kind of tolerances. Um, yeah, this thing's so dull, it's just kind of gliding over the wood. So anyway, my explanation for what number one was used for, um, it's certainly something that eventually I would love to get smaller and smaller planes, even like little squirrel tail planes that are, you know, only like that long. Um, so that way, again, you just get in here, you clean them out. On something like this, where again, I don't necessarily, I don't care that this is, flat and smooth and true all the way across, and especially when you have the risk of tear out. So I just come in here and I hit these spots, going kind of cross grain, just try and clean them up. And sometimes, you know, sometimes I'll even live with, with what I got, the little marks here and there. It certainly doesn't bother me. But if you want to get it flat and true, I'll get bored this size. Really. There, hell, oh, that I can live with. I got a few marks right there showing what what has happened to this board. But again, if you're doing a large tabletop or a bench top, and you just want to remove saw marks, that's where you go smaller and smaller and smaller. All right, thanks everyone. Have a good day.